Hi, I'm Seth MacFarlane here for Attack of the Show. As you may or may not know, I'm a huge fan of the Star Wars movies. So when I found out that I could spoof the entire movie Star Wars without being sued by George Lucas, I jumped at the chance. The result is Family Guy Presents Blue Harvest. Always gargle before a takeoff. Taking the Griffin clan to a galaxy far, far away, Family Guy creator Seth MacFarlane realized a lifelong dream. But first, MacFarlane had to win over the Jedi Master himself, George Lucas. So how did that first meeting go? He was really, really incredibly arrogant. At least every five minutes he said, by the way, do you know that I'm the guy who did Star Wars? And I thought, well, yeah, um, I mean, that's why we did this. She said, no, should we still do it? Yeah. No, in all seriousness, absolutely one of the nicest guys that, uh, that you'd meet. Once McFarlane had Lucas's approval, the next step was casting. There were certain characters that were pretty much obvious from the start. At one point, I think actually Peter was going to be Luke, but then we figured it would be a little weird if Chris was Han and he wound up with Lois at the end to be a little incestuous. Okay, relax. So we figured, all right, Peter's Han, obviously Lois would be Leia, Chris is Luke, obviously Stewie would be Darth Vader. Um, actually that's me. I made a Darth duty. I sithed my pants. And with the cast set, McFarlane and company started writing their dream project. But not all of the jokes made it past the Star Wars censors. There were two that come to mind. One walrus man was originally called Scrotum Mouth um, because he looks like his mouth is a scrotum. <laughs> He's funny because you are a prisoner. And the other one was the Jawas were called the Jewas, you know, because when they took off their hoods, they were in fact Jewish. I got pages of these. I could go on. To get all of the inappropriate humor, pick up Blue Harvest in stores tomorrow. But don't take our word for it. If you don't buy the DVD on January 15th, two things will happen. You'll be missing out on the best Star Wars spoof of all time, and you'll get AIDS.